So what's going on guys, this is Brian Pico to your BP Fitness. I want to talk to you guys today about fear. So fear is the one thing that exists in all our lives. It's that one thing that becomes prevalent when there's a level of uncertainty about who we're supposed to be and how we become what we want. And the goal of this video is to show you examples from my own life because as a fitness lifestyle coach and as someone who's pursued bodybuilding in the past, Fear has played a role in me deciding my life around what I wanted to be. And so the goal of this video is to really show you examples from my own life and really establish how you can face the fear of rejection or failure so that you can map out your own goals and become who you want to become. And so for me, Fear of rejection has always played a huge role in shaping who I am. You know, as a kid, I was bullied a lot and I was always seeking other people's approval and other people's attention because that's what I thought would make me feel fulfilled. And as I grew up, I learned that those were shaping my actions against what I really did want. And a good example of that is when I first started competing and started fitness modeling, I had a lot of people who came against me and a lot of people who were opposed to that action. I had people who made memes about me, I had people who really said awful things and at first it really shook me in my core because it was something that really hurt me and tore me down and it was something I was really proud of so I, I started to think well maybe I'm not supposed to be doing this, maybe this is the wrong decision for my life, maybe it's something that I'm going to lose friends over and the thing that I learned and realized is that I didn't really care what anyone else thought, I really didn't care what people who didn't support me thought because there was enough people around me that did support me and did improve, approve of what I was doing. And so for you, if you're watching this and you're struggling with the fear of rejection, what you have to learn is that the people who are rejecting you are rejecting you because they don't believe in themselves. They're rejecting you because they have limiting beliefs and they're rejecting you because of what they feel insecure about inside. And so one thing I've learned is from watching my fitness clients is that in time, they'll start to have people who oppose them. So if you're starting a journey and people are saying to you, why are you doing that? Why are you eating that way? Why are you deciding to change your life in this manner? You have to realize that those people might not be the best people to have in your circle. And the greatest thing I learned is to drop people who no longer supported my goals and dreams. And as awful as that sounds, the people who truly love you, the tr people who are truly supporting you, and the people who are meant to be in your life will become more of a powerful force for you. And those people who don't support you will start to remove themselves the more that you act out of your own faith. And so the other part of fear is fear of failure. The fear that we're not gonna actually shape up to what we want and the fear that things won't work out. And the thing that's really important to realize about fear of failure is it stems from fear of rejection. You're afraid of failing because you don't want people to realize you failed. You don't want to have to face other people and you don't want to face humiliation about the fact that you tried to pursue something and it didn't work out. The really important thing to remember there is that if you're acting out of something that's inside you and that you're passionate about, that whether you fail or not, whether you succeed or not, or whether it becomes what you want it to become, it doesn't matter, because you'll never have to regret that action. You'll never have to regret the idea that you decided to pursue something that was gonna pull from the best of you. And the way that I looked at it when I started my business is that I'm in my 20s. If I fail for the next 10 years, I'll only be 30. And whether you're older than that, whether you're younger than that, it doesn't matter. You have so much time to become who you want to become. Life's not over. There's a great quote from one of the, my favorite songs that says, it's not too late, we have the rest of our lives. And so that's what you have to look at. You have your whole life to become who you want to become. And whether you fail right now or you succeed, it doesn't matter because it's a lesson in time. And there's something that you're getting from that that's going to add so much value to other people. My goal and my ambition is to inspire other people to become their best so that they can become the best to show other people that they can also pursue their dreams. And so for you, you becoming a light is worth pursuing. You becoming who you want to become is worth pursuing. And no matter what anyone else says, no matter what anyone else thinks, and no matter who says you're a failure, it doesn't matter. And so this is Brian Pickwitz of BP Fitness. I hope that this video reached you. Comment below, what are some of the fears that you have and how are you facing them? Give this video a thumbs up, but above all else, I hope it inspired you, hope it reached you, and I hope that these words can reach you to inspire you to become a light too. I'll see you guys.